I'll be showing you step-by-step step how to add a Shopify buy button to your WordPress site. Now to start things off, you need to make sure you have the buy button channel installed on your Shopify store. You can find this in the Shopify app store and just search buy button and it's developed by Shopify. I'll also leave a link for this in the description below, but it's either gonna say install or open app. So once you click on that, now for me, I don't have it installed already, even though it did say open app as I had just removed it. But if you're comfortable with the permissions, click install. And if you already have it installed, you can find it in the top here just by searching buy button. And so I'll just open it up there as well. And so you'll be greeted from a screen that will say create a buy button for a website or blog. So I'll click create a buy button. Now you're gonna get the option to do two things create a product buy button or a collection buy button, depending on what you're advertising. I'm just gonna create a product buy button here. So if I click that, I'm next gonna get the option to select a product to create this buy button for. I'll do this for the outdoor camping bag. I'll click select, and then I'm gonna get some customization options so I can get a different layout. I can have a basic layout, a classic layout, or a full view. I'll just go a classic layout here. I can then select an action when people click to either add to cart, go straight to checkout or open product details. I'll just go straight to checkout here. And for the button style, I can set the background color as well as the button text color. And I can also change the typography by changing the font, or I could also increase the font size. I get some layout customization as well from the image size to the alignment to the button text, as well as the colors of the price and the product title. But overall, these customizations are just gonna depend on what you're looking for and how you want it to stand out. For advanced settings, there are opening up a new pop-up window or redirect in the same tab. I'll leave this as redirecting in the same tab. So once you've customized all your styling, hit next in the top right here, and it's gonna give us a piece of code to copy in. So I'm going to press copy code here. It's gonna be an entire div of HTML with all our styling. And I'm gonna head over to the Ecom Masterclass blog here. So I'm just gonna add this to the homepage. So I can see my entire homepage here. Maybe I just wanna add this to the top. And so if you're using the new WordPress editor, you're gonna hit slash to choose a new block. And I wanna create custom HTML. And then I'm going to paste the code I just copied. I can then preview this by clicking preview in the top right, preview this in a new tab on desktop. And if I scroll down to my homepage, I can see the buy now button that I just installed here. And if I go and click buy now here, this should open up my checkout link directly. And there we go, it has opened that up. So I know my buy button is working correctly. Now you can really take that custom piece of HTML and install this anywhere on your WordPress site by adding custom HTML blocks anywhere you're looking to add this buy button. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much money your store has actually made. That's where our sponsored profit calc comes in, the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. Once set up, all you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations so you can understand how profitable your store truly is. This is gonna let you make smarter business decisions and it's gonna sync seamlessly with all your different ad accounts from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok. And it's gonna include a ton of different metrics and analytics on top of that. There's a 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. You can find it on the Shopify app store by searching profit calc and then looking for this logo in the top left. There's also a link in the description below that's gonna give you direct access to that listing. So make sure you check that out there. So this concludes the video here on how to add a buy button to your WordPress site using the Shopify buy button sales channel. Now you can do so for a product or a collection. And if this video helped, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.